In this video, I'm going to show you a way to use Facebook more efficiently. So there are on Facebook three primary activities that I do. One is to post content, which of course I do through my uh, Facebook business page. I post lots of videos and, and, and uh, tips there. And I also do it through my Facebook personal uh, page where I post a lot of more political stuff, spiritual things, but also some business tips. Um, but the third type of activity that I do is what I call social media caring. So what is that? So imagine if each one of us cared about our particular circle of people that are most important to us. Imagine if we gave them uh, the kind of support on social media that we, we want to give them in real life. Well, then everybody on social media would feel seen and heard and, and cared for. When I say cared for, meaning doesn't it feel good when someone you know, likes your post or reacts to it or shares it, etc., right? So that's the kind of support we can give to the people that are important to us um, on social media. Okay, so how do we do social uh, media caring in a focused and efficient way? Well, let me show you. The first thing you do, and I'm going to use Facebook as an example. Actually, Facebook is the easiest way to, to, to do social media caring that I found. Um, Twitter, it's possible with Twitter lists. Instagram is very hard to do. Um, uh, because you can't create what's called lists. So let me show you. So the first thing you do on is you go to Facebook and you go to the, the, the newsfeed page. It's home, okay? The, the, the newsfeed page or the home, which you can find through here, this button, or this link, basically, when you land on the newsfeed. And then the problem with the newsfeed is that you can get a lot of time sucked away by just scrolling through, uh, you know, unlimited... And, you know, what a nice photo. So I'm just going to like that one. But, um, you know, so you can get almost unlimited time sucked through by just scrolling through, like, interesting postings that Facebook thinks might be interesting for you. But they're kind of, they're kind of by random people, you know. I mean, some of these people you might think, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're a good friend. But some of these people are, uh, you don't hear from for, you don't really engage with that often. So social media caring is to use what's called the friend lists. So the friend list you can find under the explore. Again, you have to be in the home screen, which is the newsfeed screen. And under explore, look for the button that says friend lists. You may have to click see more to be able to find it. But once you do, click on friend lists. And I'll tell you, when it comes to Facebook consumption, it might just be more efficient for you to, to uh, less distractible to just bookmark this particular li uh, link, you know, this particular link to as your as your Facebook home, so you don't get distracted. <laughs> so when you come to friend lists, uh, I'm, I encourage you to create lists of the circles of people that are important to you that you want to support on social media. So that could be your your real life close friends, your family that you want to support, that your uh, your clients, um, your your colleagues that you want to keep in touch with and support. Um, your coach, your coaches, your uh, your your coworkers, um, etc. So uh, so click on create list, and then you can name the list whatever you want. By the way, nobody will know which list you've created, and the people you put on the list they won't even know that you put them on a particular list. It's just for you to focus your so your Facebook news consumption. Okay. So in this in this I'm just going to call it client example. And by the way, the reason why it's giving me that. Uh, that suggestion is because I've already practiced making this video once and I made some mistakes so now I'm doing it a second time but anyway uh, client example and then I'm gonna add two people that um, have given me permission to name them as clients so um, Andy Burton uh, Nikki Pava so these are uh, Facebook friends of mine who are also clients of mine and uh, they also have fan pages. Each of them has a, has a fan page that I also want to add to this list, but I can't really do it easily from this screen. So I'm going to click Create for, for now. Okay. And again, you know, besides the fact that I'm making this video, Nikki and Andy have no idea that I put them on this list and what it's called, etc. So just don't worry about that. It's all private to you. And once I've created a list, uh, if there's anything new, that, that Andy and Nikki have posted on their Facebook, I can easily come to this list and see that without having to see all the other postings from everybody else on Facebook. Does that make sense? 
So it becomes a really nice, efficient, focused way to consume Facebook and show the support for the people you care about the most by mo more easily finding their postings and liking them, commenting on them and sharing them, etc. So oh, I was, I was going to mention that also Andy and Nikki both have business or fan pages and I can add them to this list as well. Uh, Nikki's fan page is already um, quite established so I'm going to add it here. Alegria Partners. Okay. So again, you, you, you type it into this section. This is add friends to this list. But besides friends, you can add fan pages as well. So Alegria Partners. And so in the future, again, if, if Allegria Partners posts anything on Facebook, it will also be shown here in this list. And then Andy has a brand new uh, fan page that has, I think, one or two likes thus far. I haven't even liked it because he just launched it and uh, we were waiting for there to be something before I liked it and showed my support. But uh, because I haven't yet liked it, it's called Eagerly Growing, I won't be able to add it to this list. So first, I want to show you, you have to go and like it first, Eagerly Growing. Okay, eagerly growing. Find the right page, and this is this is Andy and his brand new fan page, and it's already it's. Uh, so I'm gonna like it now, and then then I can go back to that friend list that I've created again. Back to home, and, and don't get don't get uh, distracted. Click on friend lists. I'm gonna go to the client example, and then now oh there you go. So now I'm seeing the postings from from see Andy Allegria Partners. So now oh, I'm gonna, before I get distracted here, let me add it here. Uh, eagerly growing. See, now I'm able to add it because I've already, now I've liked it, like the, the fan page. But see how efficient it is. I can come here and just focus on the postings from the, from these, these two people and their fan pages that I've added, right? So I can, you know, engage with the, con let's, I'm not going to do it in real time right now, but uh, let's say I've read it and I've watched it and I want to show my support. I can just, you know, click, click show my support there. Same thing with this one. I've already showed my support there. Um, Etc. And oh, it also includes postings that they've made to groups that I'm part of as well, right? So let's say I've read it and uh, I, I, let's say, you know, I just want to show my support, hover over like, love, okay? So um, uh, one more thing I want to show you is that if you use a smartphone like an iPhone or Android, you can make this process uh, even easier. Uh, by 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 adding the friend list, um, I'm going to show you iPhone particularly. I can add that friend list as a iPhone icon to make it really quick to get there on the iPhone. So I'll show you that next. So now I'm in my iPhone home screen, and he, from here I can create a shortcut to that client example friend list that I showed you how to create a few minutes ago. And by the way, this requires the Safari app on the iPhone. Uh, the Chrome app uh, the Chrome app doesn't work to create a shortcut to the home screen, so I have to use the Safari app. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to click on Safari, and then in Safari I'm going to go to Facebook.com. Now, you might be wondering how come I don't use the Facebook app? Well, I use the Facebook app too uh, when I'm trying to post something or engage, but, but for the purpose of creating this shortcut using the Safari and then going to Facebook that way, is, is that's the way you, you do it. So when I come to Facebook, I click on the, um, the, the icon in the upper right, the three lines, the one next to the magnifying glass. Click on the three lines, okay? And then I scroll down to the friend list I just created. So you see under friends, you see under friends here, it says client example. Uh, if you've created a bunch of friend lists, you might need to click on see all friends. But uh, here, you know, I'm gonna just go, go to client example. And voila, there's the friend list that I just created. And I can, uh, first let me just go ahead and add this to the, um, the home screen here. And to add it to the home screen, I you know notice when I scroll around uh, when I scroll down uh, nothing happens but when when I scroll up again and then let it go you see that icon in the center middle that looks like a box with an arrow coming out of it I'm gonna click on that icon right now and then here on the second row you see where it says add to home screen I'm gonna go and click on that add to home screen. And then instead of Facebook, I'm going to name it something that's more clear. So I'm going to name it Clients. And then I'm going to click Add. Okay. And now what this does is this now creates a shortcut right there on my iPhone to easily get to my friend list so that I can engage with these, um, these people that I want to support 
engage with their content, you know, like or love their 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 you know their um, their content, etc. Does that make sense? And comment on it if I want to. So uh, one thing that I recommend is to is to move that uh, shortcut you've created to somewhere that's easier to find. So for example, I would move it to my my main screen here. And actually, I've even created a whole collection of of these shortcuts. I have my uh, oh, by the way, that the icon on the upper left is my, is the Facebook Groups app, which I also like. It's a good go to the App Store and search Facebook Groups, and that's the official app. And that app makes it easy for me to to care and support for the groups on Facebook that I that I manage or that I uh, want to be part of. Um, but as you can see, I've created a bunch of shortcuts for my one to one clients, for the members of my group coaching program, for you know, um, there's other these other um, shortcuts here that I'm not going to talk about right now. But uh, um, but so there it is. And if I want to add this clients, you know, to to there, I just go there, drop it off. You know, I'm just going to put it right there, for example, right? And then and then I'm done. Press the home button. I'm done. And so I hope that this is helpful for you to do your social media caring in a more efficient and effective way. Whenever you have just a few minutes and you just have your phone, you can quickly click through to find your um, find the friend list that you want to support and engage with. And just, just a few minutes of engaging with your content will, um, over time, just keep building that relationship. It also has the benefit of, of helping you um, see what kinds of content the people you care about uh, care about so the, what kinds of content do they love to share and and post about and therefore that might inform you also what types of content you might want to post about so that it really resonates with the people that you want to reach so i hope that makes sense and as always i'm open to your questions and your comments and i wish you um, efficiency and effectiveness and uh, lots of um, uh, success with doing social media caring